Welcome to this video guys. So in this video I will try to check how the QEMU 10 will perform uh, and uh, is Raspberry Pi uh, 4 emulation is finally fixed. So back in the days uh, like probably one year ago I created uh, emulating Raspberry Pi 4 uh, with QEMU 9 but it seems the USB emulation was broken so I created uh, here on my website uh, if you still didn't visit go to uh, IoT Tech Dev forum section then apps and demo and uh, we're gonna find, he find here uh, complete explanation how you can emulate the Raspberry Pi 4 with QEMU but unfortunately the QEMU 4 USB emulation was not completed so uh, the image was booting but I was unable to make the mouse working so in this video I'm going to try and see is uh, QEMU 10 fixed this or still the bugs the bug is the same so we're gonna repeat everything here and uh, I updated a little bit the guide so uh, you guys uh, can uh, watch and uh, if you want to uh, repeat everything and uh, check by yourself you are free to do it so let's start so first of all, uh, I have QEMU installed and uh, we're gonna download the Raspberry Pi uh, image first. So I used uh, the legacy image uh, with the desktop and uh, one second to see which, which one was. Mm. Yeah, Bulsi. I used Bulsi uh, with the desktop with uh, this image. Okay, so let's download it. Uh, and this is the 64 bit version legacy. So we're gonna try to download on 64-bit version. So I will try first with 64-bit version to see if anything change, and after that we'll try 32-bit version. But still, uh, what's the point of trying 32-bit version when we can basically try 64-bit version? So uh, basically, I will try first 64-bit version. So even I'm going to stop it here to not download this. So let's wait this to be downloaded. And uh, we're gonna continue. Okay, I will pause, pause a little bit here until this image is downloaded and we're gonna continue from there. Okay, so we already uh, download the image. We have this file. So now let's follow the guide here and create uh, basically the 16 gigabyte Raspberry Pi image file. So with this command, we're gonna create the file. Okay, and now uh, let's mount this image file uh, second and we need to be root here okay and after that connect okay and uh, uh, no this Let's start known disk utility so we can see the 
our uh, virtual device mounted and what we can do now is just to restore the image so select here uh, restore image and we're gonna select uh, basically our image here and start restoring so restore and we see we are restoring the uh, downloaded Raspberry Pi image to our virtual uh, SD card image that we created. We created 16 gigabyte virtual SDK image. It's the same thing we can do with the real SD card. It's just we are selecting here and mounting this uh, virtual image file. So let's wait uh, this to be completed. And we are done, as we can see. This is how the Raspberry Pi file system looks like. So now we can just uh, disconnect or dismount like this. And after that, let's copy the current configuration file so basically we're gonna copy like this and we're gonna create nano pi for uh, and uh, we're gonna paste so uh, let me explain the configuration qmu r64 machine is raspberry pi uh, Oh, this, sorry, this is Raspberry Pi uh, 4 config. I copy uh, 3 Raspberry Pi 3 config. I copy the wrong config. One second, I'm going to delete this and we're gonna copy the right one. So, uh, if you guys wanna try Raspberry Pi 3, we're gonna try. But uh, now we won't first we'll start with Raspberry Pi 4. So, let's see like this okay and uh, uh, we, we need to fix this like home void and why pi 4 like this uh, and here ah uh, what we forgot to do, and we're gonna do it now. We need kernel 8 imag and this Raspberry Pi file. So we have to mount again the. I forgot to copy these two files from the image. So we need to mount again and copy these uh, two files. Uh, just like that. So we're gonna basically try to mount it and uh, we're gonna start the, start the disk utility and after that uh, I think it was here yep here is the files and uh, we're gonna need uh, one second uh, we're gonna need exactly uh, this file. So basically, BCM uh, eleven twenty seven eleven. Uh, 4b this file or b so basically we need to copy this and we're gonna go to our uh, home 
void by four and we're gonna copy here and uh, start new top like this so we're gonna come back and uh, we need also kernel uh, 8 imago so now let's find it okay it's here copy paste and uh, basically we need these two files here so let's fix this part so guys if you have something different than void I'm using void Linux you need to change uh, this to your current directory path so I'm my is like this by four and the same here like void and by four okay so we have absolute pop to the kernel and the image and all should be fine so let's save this configuration file and uh, we gonna kill this utility disconnect and now uh, let's uh, just give him part 4 and uh, kernel and the other file was uh, uh, was BCM just to fix the permission and uh, I think we are good to go so let's start part 4 hmm cannot find the kernel we forgot to copy the kernel right no. oh kernel 18 I cannot load the kernel Oh, I, you see, guys, the mistake. I, I double, double typed void void. So we're gonna fix this. Part four. Yeah, mistake. Okay, we are not robots, so it's okay. And uh, let's see. Are this time Raspberry Pi going to boot? As we can see it's loading and finger cross rd fix the mouse this uh, the usb this time or it's still broken let's see we're gonna find out soon So let's wait the desktop to load. And are you work? Half working mouse? No. Unfortunately, the bug is still not fixed. So the mouse and USB emulation on the Raspberry Pi 4 is not working still. So shame on the QMO, like shame on you guys. Why you are adding the Raspberry Pi emulation, for Raspberry Pi 4, and still the USB is broken in the QMO 10? So it's just like terrible so it's not working damn 
anyway uh, anyway that was for this video I, w I just wanted to see are the QEMO 10 is fixing the bug with the Raspberry Pi emulation but no unfortunately it's still broken so it is what it is uh, okay. so to demonstrate one second so mm. yeah machine model raspberry pi b and but no QMO is still broken like for emulating Raspberry Pi 4 so QMO uh, uh, 64 so QMO R64 version 10 and it's still broken guys so, sorry to say that but I wanted to check this but it's still broken so that was for this video and uh, if you like to try to emulate raspberry pi 3 we can use this configuration and it will work so uh, if you if you paste this configuration on fix with emulating raspberry pi uh, 3 the USB emulation will work, so configuration is not wrong it's just uh, QEMO 10 still not emulating uh, perfectly Raspberry Pi 4 so that is